Hello folks, back in 2023, this is M. Dearest. you're watching the M. Dearest Bluegrass Talk Show on YouTube and on Facebook, brought to you by the M. Dearest Bluegrass Productions, one of the finest media companies all around the world, Bluegrass Music, and here's the M. Dearest Bluegrass Talk Show on YouTube and Facebook, stay tuned for the interviews. Hello folks. Uh, what a good face right here to start with the introduction, but my name is Evan Nurse. I'll the Evan Nurse Blue Eyes Talk Show. Brought you by the Evan Nurse Blue Eyes Productions. One of the finest media companies all around the world, Blue Eyes Music. And I'm here at the Rudy Fest, like it says right here, live from Rudy Fest. Simply the best. Simply the best. But um, anyway, here in Moore, Kentucky with this young, I mean, I mean, Kind fella um, from Wildfire, uh, Robert Hale. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you doing, Evan? Still good. It's been a while. I was talking off air. It's been a while though since, since we saw each other. It's been a little while. It has, yeah. Yeah. I um, let's talk about your. Um, how do you like being here at Rudy Fest? We love Rudy Fest. We played Rudy Fest several times. Uh, this is actually our first year playing up here at Poppy Mountain. But Rudy Fest is actually one of the top in the country. Right there, we're always thrilled to come to Rudy Fest. Oh yeah. For sure though. But, um, and speaking of great um, songs and stuff you can play, um, yeah, it's a great first set. And you guys are performing tonight at um, 6 7. 7, seven o'clock, o'clock tonight. Yeah. I was thinking of the rope band, yeah, my apologies, <laughs> folks. But speaking of songs, um, you got a single out um, entitled um, A Place Where I Belong. Yes, brand new single out. Um, just re- well, it was released back a couple months ago. It's just been picked up by Sirius XM, and I think the other radio stations across the country are starting to pick it up. And so uh, it's on Pine Castle Records, as, as I've been for a long time, and their band has been on Pine Castle for a long time. But hopefully, the folks will get to hear it and start calling up and requesting it a whole bunch. I'd appreciate that a bunch. Oh, yeah, sure. Let your DJs know about that. A yes. place where I belong. Yes, a place on Pine Castle Records. Right. And speaking of your band Wildfire, uh-huh. this is the reason I'm doing the interview today for the second time in a row, but who's members of the group? The members of the group now are myself and Kurt Chapman, bass player, who started the band with me back 20-something years ago, and Johnny Lewis on banjo, who's been with us 13, 14 years now, and uh, Scott Napier, which everybody knows, I think, a great man and player, been around for a long time, is with us, as well as Matt Despain on Dobro. So we've got a really good Matt Despain. Despain. Uh-huh. That's a nice name. And um, you play the guitar. Don't I you? do. And um, the, um, what type of guitar do you play? It's actually an old uh, Martin D28, a 1960 model. My dad bought it brand new, so I've, I had it even before I was born. that has been with me all my life. Oh, yes. And did you guys have a latest album out on, on, on Pike Gossip entitled Quiet Country Town? Right. And you wrote, actually, I heard my dad talking about, um, about that song. It is an interesting fact. You wrote that song, didn't you? I did write that song. And how did that come about? Well, actually, that was one of the one of three song, three or four songs that I wrote in the same week during COVID. Actually, during the height of COVID, I was kind of isolated there for a little while in my house, and thought, I guess the good thing that did come out of it was those songs. And a couple of them ended up on their on our Wildfire CD. Yeah. And then this new song that I've got as a single for my solo CD is that also came from that same writing session. Oh yes, and um, even though. It, you guys had a great first set, and you guys are probably second set tonight at mm-hmm. seven o'clock. Right. Um, the um, when I heard out of the blue that you guys were coming in late, I had someone come late today. Yes. And, um, yeah. Um, yeah, we had to switch schedules with uh, Seth, I believe it was. Seth Molnar. Yeah, yeah I think that's right. Yeah. And you guys do second set that. schedule too? Seven. No, we're we're back in regular schedule. Oh. Seven o'clock tonight. Yeah. And um, yeah. please be sure to check out Wildfire at Wildfire on Facebook, YouTube. Yep. And um, what was you guys' website? Yep, we got that on there too, wildfireband.com. Yep. Or wait there, this Wildfire Bluegrass. That's what I think it is, wildfirebluegrass.com. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Don't want to go on the wrong website. That's right. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Robert. Thank you, bud. Appreciate oh, it. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, do another interview again soon. Yeah, hopefully it won't be quite as long as the last one, right? Oh, yeah. All right, bud. What are you guys going to be at after today? Um, I guess as far as we're in this general vicinity, uh, we're going to be at the uh, Crow Fest. Crow Fest, that's Don't forget that. That's always August good. August 
Man, I'll have to look. I think we're on there on the Friday. I think I'm not positive. I think we're there on. I think we're there on Friday. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Check out the website for more info. Um, WildfireBlueGrass.com and don't go on the wrong website. No. And um, <laughs> I'm Evan Nurse from the Evan Nurse Cross Talk Show, and um, we're gonna be showing the post all the time. But simply for and we're going to be leaving. We're going to be walking out the stairs. Well, not stairs, but the stairs. Take care, everyone.